Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's no surprise this year that we have a few select weapons that dominate the meta day in and day out. You know, most of the time, once the pros get familiar with certain setups, the snowball kind of starts rolling, and then you basically see identical classes used in every single match you play. And that's because when it comes down to it, those setups are the most consistent to run in a competitive environment. So today we're breaking down a handful of the best and most overpowered classes to use in game. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, we've been gaining about a thousand new subscribers every single day. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news and intel, best class setups and everything of that nature, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. And of course, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. Now, in the interest of time, we'll just break down the secondary, perks, and all that jazz for the first setup, since it is pretty much the same on every single class I run. And the primaries are obviously going to be what we are focused on the most. Now, these setups stem either directly from the pro players signed to various CDL teams, or through classes that I've seen appear time and again in game, and actually tried out myself to really determine just how consistent they are. So, that said, getting right into the first class today, this one is going to be built around the Kilo 141, which is of course the very first assault rifle we end up unlocking. However, despite it being such an early unlock, it is actually one of the most effective weapons we have in a variety of engagements. It has a bit of a faster fire rate than some of the other ARs, its recoil, especially with the setup that we've got today, is almost non-existent, and it is also very, very agile too. So you can play pretty aggressive with it and not be too worried about being outgunned due to speed, or I guess lack thereof. So for starters here, I've got the Compensator to help reduce the amount of recoil the weapon has in general. Then I've got the Syngard Arms Prowler Barrel, which is going to extend the damage range and increase the bullet velocity and recoil control, really making this weapon even better in those medium and long range engagements. We then also have the No Stock option, which increases the overall movement speed and also the aim down sight speed, making this weapon better for rushing around with as well. So already we have a series of attachments to help with all ranges and types of engagements. But of course we're not done quite yet with this one. We also have the Commando Foregrip. This is really the preferred grip of choice for the pros on most ARs. And then finally we also have the Stippled Grip Tape per usual. And that is really a, uh, a no-brainer there as that mobility increase is a huge bonus to have. So this attachment setup is really going to minimize any recoil the Kilo has in the first place, making it super easy to actually stay on target. On top of that, we also get some good increases to its effectiveness, not only at a longer range, but close range as well. And outside of the obvious choice for an AR player, which we'll get to later on in the video, the Kilo 141 is the next best option. Now, as I said, the remainder of the class, the secondary, the perks, the equipment, that all is going to stay the same for all the future classes too. So we'll just break it down one time here. As of lately, I have been rocking the 357 Magnum with the long barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, the snake shot ammo upgrade, and also the brand new akimbo perk, because uh, hey, one snake shot Magnum is pretty good, right? But two is even better. And this is probably the most dominant secondary we have as of right now. To be honest, I would say this could be nerfed in the future because the snake shot by itself was already controversial, and this really just expands on that even more. Then, for my perks, I am still sticking with what I would call my standard setup of EOD, Restock, and Shrapnel. This is going to allow me to go on longer streaks, since EOD is going to protect against nade spam, Restock gives me more equipment, and Shrapnel doubles my lethal equipment, and speaking of that, I do use C4. It is uh, it's kind of my thing this year, it just works really well with my aggressive playstyle, so that's kind of what I default to. Then finally, I do also use the stim as well, that way I can manually heal. Of course, certain aspects of this setup are actually restricted in an official competitive match. However, for public games, this is definitely the best way to go in my own opinion. Now, getting into the next class here, this time we're looking at the Grav 556, one of our new Season 2 DLC weapons. And while we did talk about this weapon a bit in our Top 5 Weapons After Season 2 video, my setup here has changed a little. Now, much like the Kilo, this class is built to be a bit more uh, universal, I guess, and excel in a large variety of gunfights. So here, I am using the Monolithic Suppressor to extend the range, and of course, being suppressed is a nice addition to the class too. Then, I've got the 26.4 inch Archangel Barrel, which is going to have the largest increase to the range, control, and bullet velocity. 
However, if you do want a class that is slightly faster, the 20.8 inch Nexus Barrel does offer pretty similar stats, but it actually has a bit less of a mobility decrease, so just take that into consideration. Anyways, I do also use the no stock option to once again increase that mobility, the commando foregrip again for that recoil management, and also the 50 round mags, just because I found myself playing a lot more aggressive with the Gra, and that extra ammo does really come in clutch in some cases. It also doesn't really have any major drawbacks either, so it is a nice addition to the class in general. So here, you don't really have too much recoil to worry about, the range is fantastic if I do say so myself, and the speed is also decent. So you can rush around or play more defensive and find success no matter what your playstyle is like. Then class number 3 is all about the MP7, which I will continue to say is the number 2 SMG in the game because of its incredibly surprising range and great versatility that allows it to be used in a handful of engagements. For whatever reason, the MP7's damage drop off just does not feel all that bad, so you can get some pretty easy kills at longer distances. In close range, it shreds as well, so that is kind of a win-win uh, there. Now on the MP7, I'm rocking the FSS Recon Barrel to extend the range and also increase the control and bullet velocity. Then I've got the TAC Laser to increase the stability and mobility, the No Stock option for the same reasons as before, the Merc Foregrip, which is the number one grip according to the pros, you know, uh, 4 out of 5 pros would recommend it, as it helps with accuracy and control. Then finally, no surprise here, but I've got the stippled grip tape yet again. So this attachment combination really makes the MP7 a phenom up close, and uh, like I said, it can hold its own in medium and long range fights too. So it is a very good weapon to use while trying to be the best like no one ever was. Now the next setup we've got is of course based around the MP5. This really should not be a huge surprise to anyone. If we're talking about competitive setups, there are two very very obvious choices. And this is one of them. The MP5 has been dominant ever since day one, and despite getting nerfed multiple times at this point, it is still the number one SMG in the game and a clear favorite over in the pro scene. Now here, I am using the FTAC collapsible stock, which increases the mobility and also the ADS speed, the Merc foregrip for the same reasons as before, the 10mm ammo for better damage and range, the grip tape that's stippled, and also sleight of hand to reload faster. Now this is actually going to be the same exact class that Skump runs on his MP5, and I mean there's not really much else I need to say about that. He is one of the best players in the entire world, and uh, obviously if this setup was not top tier, he would not be using it to win match after match after match. Then we do have one more setup to look at for today, and uh, once again this is a very obvious choice for a competitive setup, since it is based around none other than the M4A1. This is without a doubt the number one assault rifle in the game, it completely dominates the meta and has ever since the game launched, and it is still going strong now even though it has been nerfed a few times in the past. So here I am using the Corvus Custom Barrel for better range, control, and also bullet velocity. However, the M16 Barrel is also a great choice if you want a bit more range with a little less mobility. Then personally, I do use the GI Mini Reflex on here, but if you are okay with the iron sights, I then suggest using the compensator or the 50 round mags instead. I then also use the no stock option for the same reasons as before, and same deal with the commando foregrip as well as the stippled grip tape. Now this is once again a setup that is really favored by the pros, so really there's not much explanation needed for this one. I mean, it's the M4A1, it is a fantastic class, it is super easy to use in close, medium, and long range gunfights, and it is without a doubt one of the most consistent setups we have available. But honestly, between all of these setups today, you really can't go wrong. Personally, I do find using the M4A1 and the MP5 to be a little monotonous after a few games, but if I'm playing a mode like Search and Destroy or Cyber Attack, and I really want to do well, I know I've got plenty of options to choose from since these other classes are all equally capable of being really effective. Anyways, with all of that being said, those are effectively the best classes to use here in Modern Warfare, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you just found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the world of Call of Duty, including all the latest news and intel, updates and leaks, and pretty much everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know when I post a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all scuff, 
G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found down in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.